welcome back. Uh, today I've got a design team project for Artie Mays. This is using her kit, uh, the Bee Garden. It's a beautiful kit, and you guys know I'm really into the bees at the moment, so I thought I would just carry on and, um, and work with this one. It's a beautiful kit. It's a large one. You've got a main kit and then an add-on, and I've used uh, both of those in this journal. So, <clears throat> so we'll, let's just get started with the... Um, the size and the cover, it's about a six inch by six by nine, <clears throat> and this is created from fabric. I apologize, guys, if I'm going to be coughing. I'm going to try to get through this without coughing too much. Um, so it's a six by nine, it's a two signature that's been sewn in with a five hole pamphlet stitch. Um, this is a vintage button I've stitched on the front, and then I've just attached. Um, a muslin strip as the closure and then I have <clears throat> done some stitching down that um, fabric. I've stitched it to the journal itself and then I showed this um, fabric on Instagram maybe a week ago? I don't know. Um, I love it. I love this bee material. And I've got some more I'll share with you guys really quick. This is another pattern I, I picked up, so I'll be doing a journal with that, I don't know, in the next month. You guys know how I am. I get all these projects in mind, but I don't know how long it's going to take me to get to that because I've got a couple of other um, custom orders that I'm working on and a few other journals that are Oh, needing finishing up. So anyways, back to this. Um, what I've done is I've just done multiple, um, these are, you know, different elements from the kit, and then I did some stitching. I've stamped um, this little B, and then added a little um, eyelet to a bulb pin with some lace. This is some vintage trim I had. Um, so that's pretty much the cover. <coughs> Here's the inside. This I've created uh, from one of the background pages, and then I did some layering. <clears throat> Excuse me, I'm so sorry, guys. I probably should have left this until I'm over this cold. Um, but here I've created two little pockets with, with different, this is like a journal card, background paper, and then this is one of the little elements. And I just tucked in a little tag there. Here I did some collaging with some cheesecloth. Um, it, it's got beautiful colors in this. It's got some blues, some um, lilac, and then here's just some scrapbook paper that coordinated with it. So <clears throat> I did some stitching. I've backed the scrapbook paper with some tea dyed papers so that you wouldn't have the white. This is one of the journal pages. Beautiful. Uh, here I created a pocket with some uh, muslin and then I've layered some vintage trim I've got and then these little tickets come in the kit so layered those and this is one of the um, mason jars from the kit love that so you've got some journaling there and this is just some other scrapbook paper that I had that I thought coordinated nicely with it because it's got the golds in there and that is in some of these papers <coughs> some more stitching and vintage trim here. And there's another one of the pages. Beautiful detail. Here I've done one of the Franken pages with just leftover things so that flips out. <coughs> Excuse me, I hope you guys can see that. That flips out so you've got extra writing space there. Just some tea dyed uh, grid papers. You get little tabs in this kit, which is always a bonus. I absolutely love my tabs. <laughs> it just adds a lot of uh, a lot to a journal. So sorry, guys. I don't know. I, I wouldn't say I've got a cold. It's um <clears throat> just um a sore throat and yeah kind of coffee. I don't know. I'm hoping this just gets on by. I thought I was going to make it through the year 
without it, but I didn't, so I'm not feeling bad. So that's that's okay. that's the main thing. I'm not feeling bad from it. So here um, you get these circles in the kit, and then I've just cut out a little tag from some extra scrap that I had. Tuck that over. <clears throat> Collage a couple of elements. And then this is just some leftover scrapbook paper. So you can see lots of stitching. I think I've um, made friends with the black thread at long last. I am starting to really enjoy the way that that stands out when you use it. Um, I was really reluctant at the beginning, but now it's it's growing on me, guys. <laughs> so this I'm hoping in the next couple of days to get to town and uh, and buy five or six uh, spools of it because I'm nearly out. Um, here I did a um, altered paper clip. I'll just give you guys a close up of that with some. Uh, this is a trim that I purchased. It's got some of the the bees on it, so that was handy. Bought that before I became addicted to bees, but that's worked out really nice. Sometimes I think you, it's fate because um, <clears throat> I bought that probably two years ago. And as you know, I've been in this bee phase for about the last month. I don't know. I just absolutely love working with these kits. And every time I see uh, a new kit out, I think, oh, I just, I don't know, crazy about them. Here I've just put a couple of little glass beads in into the um, centers of the signatures. It'd be easy enough. If you if a person didn't like them, they could snip that off. And, but I think they're really nice to have. And they're not too bulky. I try not to put anything that's going to be too bulky because I know when you're writing, that's really irritating. <coughs> Excuse me. Here, I love this. You get that in the kit, so I've just stitched that. Um, this is kind of a Miss Cog inspired. She does this in her journals, and it's really nice. Um, so I, I thought I'd try that with this one. That's really pretty, and I, I like the way it's come out on the back as well. Just a little envelope that I've tea dyed, I've stuck in there. Um, bit of craft cardstock that's been embossed. And then here I've added, uh, this is some more of that textured wallpaper um, sample that I got. Um, and I've just cut some tags. There's a couple of tags in here. I thought the color is that dark, um, kind of like a mauve. <coughs> Another tab. Lots of writing space. Here I've made a, a belly band, and then this is one of the journal cards that you kit, get from the kit. It's a really big kit, so you get lots of journaling cards in it and a, a lot of background paper, you know, double um, sided papers as well. Some more vintage trim. Here I've done a tuck spot, and then I create a little pocket here, and there's a little mason jar and a hand stamped tag. So that's the end of the first signature. And then this, I've done another, um, she gives you the banners for the paper clips. So I've done that little altered clip and I love these postcards that she's included in there. In fact, I've printed out some of those. Yes, I know I'm going to say it again, and I'm so sorry, but yes, I've printed out a whole sheet of these that are going to be cards. <laughs> Somehow I am going to find the time to do some cards because I'm really missing. Um, I've been doing so many um, large journals lately that I thought um, I'm going to take a bit of a break and go back to uh, working on some of the small journals, but I'm just going to I'm going to have those as maybe two or three signatures, but they're going to be small, maybe four by six, maybe a five by seven, but I'm thinking four by six. And then I want to do some cards because um, I've really, really missed the small projects. It's just, um, 
and I've got a few things coming up that I know I'm not going to be able to devote um, to the large journals for at least a couple weeks. Like I said, I've got some custom orders I need to get finished up. <clears throat> so that's my plan. As you know, it could change by tomorrow. I might have a completely different plan. There's another of the postcard. Love that. And here I just did a belly band. I had some extra um, offcuts of my tea dyed paper, and that I'm oh, that stuff is so precious to me because here's another confession: I hate the tea dyeing and coffee dyeing process. I don't like it at all, and so. It really bothers me to throw these off cuts out. I feel like, oh, it's like gold to me. So I saved that, and uh, luckily that was a large enough piece I could actually do something with. But my favorite part of um, the journal making is sewing in the signature. I find that uh, just very therapeutic. I don't know, maybe I'm, I'm probably just going to end up as a sewing fanatic or something before it's all done because I am enjoying the sewing part so much. Um, this is just something I found in my stash that I'd made out of um, parchment paper probably, I don't know, a year and a half ago. So I've just stuck that in there. That's one of the little tickets that you get in the kit. So I've just stuck that in there. It could be glued down in the journal. Here, I really love how this has come out. This is three elements from the kit. Um, so I have just collaged those so that you've got one big tuck spot back here and then another one here. But isn't that a gorgeous image? I love that. It's almost like a um, a faded teal denim color. I just love that. That's really, really pretty. And it, well, it's almost that, which is duck egg blue. Duh. That's what I was trying to say, but it's more um, vintage, <clears throat> but that's such a pretty, that's why I was so happy when I found this material, because I was like, ah, oh, that's going to go amazing with um, Artie Mae's kit. This is such a pretty page. Look at that. you got some pinks going on, golds, a little bit of the, the she has a shade of green, that's kind of between a sage and a lime, and I love, love, love it. Um, and I've not seen that in any of the other kits, so I think that's unique to Miss um, Andrea, but it's beautiful. Um, and this page, that's really pretty. She's got lots of layers going on there. Um, a little bit of tracing paper here. I did another one of those. I don't know. This is another obsession of mine now is the die cuts stitched in. What I like about them is they're totally flat when you're shipping or writing and then whew, you can just make that. Look at that. You can make it so dimensional. So I love that. That's, that's um, <clears throat> pretty clever if I do say so myself. <laughs> it's not often that I come up with something on my own but that one I'm very proud of. So um, here's another of the um, embossed pages, another little tab. Love this page. Isn't that fabulous? Look at the bumblebees. Beautiful. And I put a couple more of the little glass beads because I don't know what else to do with those. I had to have those. I found those at a flea market in Tallahassee about a year and a half ago when I was on my Oh, I'm going to make charms for my journal kick, which, as you guys know, because you've been following me, never really has panned out. So I've got those, and I'm just like, ah, oh, okay, i got to use that. <laughs> so there you go. Another thing I need to, uh, to work on is my charms. Here I've made a little tuck spot. <clears throat> you could put something there. And this just a piece of... Um, that precious tidy uh, tea dyed paper that I couldn't throw out, so I made a little ruffle there. Here I've done a um, just a little flip out with some more trim with some black stitching, and then on the back I had this clipped. I got to be careful how I do that. Um, I got I've got this little paper clip with some twine that's some Irish linen thread. And then this is um, a pocket that comes in Artie Mae's kit. So I 
attached it to the back of this. Isn't that fabulous journal card? Look at that. Look at all those colors. So pretty. See, that would make another pretty card. I must print that one out as well. Um, and then I just tucked in another little journal card from the kit. So much. So much you can do if you just had about three of yourself and maybe 50 hours in the day. I might possibly start making a um, bit of headway on my to-do list. Love these. I like those lined papers I told you for the journaling. There's another of the, um, it's like a wallpaper, it's textured. And here you've got one, two tuck spots and then this little pocket and I just feel a little stamping there. There's a beautiful page as well. Busy, busy, busy bees. Here I've done a um, CD pocket and then I created this little um, journaling. This is one of the images from the kit and then I just did a stamp uh, bee on there, did some stitching. I've stamped behind with the honeycomb. So I do love the how those look with the CD cases. <coughs> Here's another tuck spot. That's another uh it's a journal card that I've just stitched around there. Beautiful, look at that with the it's kind of like a lilac and some gold. So pretty. Okay, here I've taken the tickets, ran a stitch down it, made a little tuck spot, and then I've got on this kick of these massive coin envelopes. Um so that was fun. There's nothing in it, but I've just stuck it in here because I intended to put it in the back of the journal, But and I'll show you why I, why I opted not to do that. I've tucked this in here. If you wanted to add that somewhere else, obviously you could, or just take it out completely. Uh, but I wanted to include that. <coughs> here, another journal card, a little pocket with some uh, scrapbook paper. And then this is the back of the journal, and the reason I didn't adhere that large coin is it would have covered this whole image, and I am crazy about this page because the colors, I want you guys to see, they're just so, so pretty. Beautiful kit. They're um, a bit more collaging with various things, and this is... Um, one of the journal cards, so I just cut that out made a pocket there. So there you go. This is <clears throat> going to be, well, it's in my Etsy shop now, so if you're interested in this, you can take a peek. Um, I'll have the link below. I'm going to leave the link for the um, kit and the add-on kit that I've used to make the journal. So um, if you guys are interested in... Uh, making one yourself you can just follow that link and check it out so there you go guys thanks so much for stopping by and i'll see you back here very soon bye